Hi family, today um, I just want to share um, about the simplicity of salvation. We're just going to be in Romans and I'm just going to go right after it here. Romans 1, 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel, gospel because it is the power of God for salvation of everyone who believes, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile. Um, for in the gospel's righteousness from God is revealed a righteousness that is by faith. So, um, I get through the New Testament probably a couple times a year, and whenever I'm in Romans, I find myself always highlighting more things about salvation, and my dad always told me this is a great New Believers uh, book in the Bible. So here we are moving to uh, Romans 3.22. This righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus, God presented him as a sacrifice of atonement through faith in his blood. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. Since we have been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Um, this is just, these verses just kind of laid out there. I'm going to go over to 1 John 1, 9. A familiar verse, I'm sure, to everybody. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So... Um, through the process of being saved and salvation, just always remember that he, if we confess, he's always faithful, you know, from to save us from all unrighteousness, all our sins, past, present, future, case closed. Just take that peace of mind. Um, so salvation is something that sometimes it's hard for people to express when they're put on the spot um, we all want it we all want to be able to do this um, you know we're just waiting for the day when Christ comes and takes us out of here and I believe that we're basically just waiting for that last soul to be saved and so just always be prepared to know that um, presenting salvation is just simply knowing you're a sinner believing in Jesus Christ, confessing our sins, and repenting. It's really simple. I know early on uh, in my late 20s when I, you know, gave Jesus Christ the lordship of my life, I struggled with that, and I don't know why, because it's really simple. So um, I just want to reinforce the simplicity of it. You know, we share the gospel. Um, just know that it's simple. Um, there's... There's evangelists like Billy Graham, uh, Luis Pala. Um, he always says, just explain the gospel so that a five-year-old could understand it. And just know that um, we can all do that. Um, and the Bible also tells us that we should be able to give of our testimony. So um, just be ready and know that it's simple. Um, anyone can do it. And I just want to encourage you in that. So let's let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we just lift up this day to you. We thank you for it. Uh, Holy Spirit, we invite you to dwell in us. And Lord, whatever that day holds, if if we get a chance to um, share salvation with somebody, help us to always be be prepared and know that you're going to guide us through it. And um, your word is effective; it will not return void. Um, we just give this day to you. Um, encourage hearts, Lord, and we look forward to your soon return. Help us to honor you today and bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.